Also, have you seen this list of projects and evaluated it for its uh, relevance? And you know, I, I can't ask you to to come th go through each one, but um, but I guess when when I look at it, I see a, a work product from a lot of people who are very familiar with the system and with the, the challenges that we have. And uh, I'm you know. I know that it's kind of, it's a little bit of uh, putting you on the hot seat to ask you whether you think that you can do this or when it should all be done and how much it should cost. But the fact of the matter is, is that we have, we have been given this amount of money from the federal government. And, and the fact also is that we've lo just lost a year, another year. And the, uh, uh, the census is upon us. The next election, we're prepping up already. So there's a lot of things that need to be done, and they need to be done quickly. And I think that, uh, and I, I don't know what the uh, reason is for cutting back on the on the number, what the real reason is, but there, it does require a follow-up action, and I don't know what, when and how that follow-up action is going to be taken. So I think, uh, in my view, this is money that has been given to us by the federal government. It's there for us to be applying Minnesota has been uh, one of the subjects of attack in the past, and they have uh, pinpointed us as needing this to shore up our systems. So I guess, uh, Mr. Chair, I, I still think that this is the way we need to go. We need to release the money as soon as possible.